President Donald Trump took a lot of heat for some comments he made about Sweden while addressing a huge crowd at a rally in Florida. He was speaking about migrant crime here and abroad and remarked about how bad Islamic refugee crime is in Sweden. His comments prompted all sorts of lunacy from the left, especially in the liberal media. They wrote stories questioning Trump's mental health. They called his comments baffling and questioned how bad the situation really was. The left over in Sweden wasn't any better. An arrogant statement was released by Swedish officials mocking President Trump, saying he should get his facts straight and that they look forward to educating him. A state-sponsored Sweden radio broadcast last week in English said Islamic no-go zones in Sweden are a myth. Swedish Prime Minister Stefan Löfven took offense to what Trump said and, like all liberals do, lashed out when confronted with the truth. He said, quote, I was surprised by the comments made about Sweden this weekend. Do not forget that in international rankings in issues such as equality, human development, competitiveness, we are doing very well, unquote. Now, all liberals are proven wrong sooner or later, but these Swedish leftists were proven wrong almost immediately. Within hours of Swedish officials mocking President Trump for expressing concern about Islamic violence, Rinkeby, a suburb of Stockholm, was on fire. In response to the Prime Minister saying the refugees were not violent, a massive riot destroyed the city. It was described by one journalist as a war zone. There was looting. There were cars on fire. Swedish citizens were robbed. Police officers were attacked and fled for their lives, seeking shelter at a local gas station after being forced to fire warning shots toward the violent mob. Later that same night, a second riot broke out. What was the problem, you ask? Well, no one knows for sure. What we do know is that over 60% of the residents in Rinkeby, Sweden, are Islamic refugees. Donald Trump is once again completely vindicated for speaking out against Islamic violence and wanting to take common sense measures to keep the American people safe. I guess the only thing worse than calling Muslims violent is calling them peaceful. That really ticks them off. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.